Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here or are not already subscribed, hi, my name is Astuvina and I do a lot of hair dye videos. Today I want to review the Bright Cruelty Free Vegan Hair Color in the shade Silver. Now I picked this up at a Walmart when I was just passing by randomly and at that point my hair was gray silver so I thought if I ever want to update it to go ahead and try this out. Right now my hair is blondish, I don't sandy color. It's some weird color that I've been keeping for a while but I do want to update and refresh the color so we are going to test this out. If you've been here for a while you know why my hair is already like this. I have done a halo type of color in my hair for a while and I just love it. I get to keep my natural color on top and then change whatever on the bottom. It helps me keep my hair a little bit healthier and yeah. I just get to change it up whenever I want to too. So best of both worlds for me. So right now I have it split because I'm gonna dye it all the bottom gray. Um, there's a lot more black pieces on the bottom because the gray will just do a tint over it so I don't really mind, but I really wanna get as much of the blonde sand color as I can. This color is a semi-permanent hair color. It says it fades in five to 30 washes and best for light colored hair. It is vegan and cruelty free. It comes in a nice case like this. I kind of like this. When they say silver, I don't know if they mean gray or if they actually mean like silver silver. Because if they mean silver silver, I don't think much is gonna change to my hair. If they mean like a nice Gandalf silver-ish gray, you know what I mean? Gandalf the gray gray, it might turn out. Do you like the application process so far? Because I just squeeze it out of the little tube and it's so clean already. So I think it is doing something because it's making it darker. So I'm gonna leave this on for about 30 to 40 minutes and then wash it out and show you guys. Okay, so the color didn't come out the best. There are hints of silver like here, but most of it still kind of stayed this blonde sandy brown color. So I would say this hair dye is only good for those who have like super, super light hair. Um, if you had something like what I had, it would, I mean, it can dye some of it, but more than likely it won't dye a lot of it. So if you're looking for a like overall good color, I probably would not go with this hair dye. As for me, it's okay to have like three tones of my hair right now. I guess I will get somewhere sometime, but yeah, for now, that's kind of how the hair came out with just randomly gray areas here and there but that's okay we tried it um i really liked how the dye was kind of in that tube it was really easy to use and put on into my hair i had very very minimal mess which is amazing for me because i have mess all the time everywhere um yeah i mean there's not much hate for the dye itself other than that it didn't work too well on me but who's to say it couldn't work well on somebody else will i be purchasing again probably not because my hair is too dark I think if you have really pale blonde hair, it'll probably work for you. And I saw, I think most of their colors are more pastel range anyway, which never end up very good on me. So I will not be repurchasing it, but if you want to try it and you have light enough hair, I think it'd be something really cool to try, especially because like I said, it probably would come out if I had light enough hair. And if you want temporary color, this is a great option for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of disappointing, but I hope it helped educate you in some way anyways. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.